Here we go in the puddle. Bye -bye. What do you hear? I hope you enjoyed my haul. Turn the light on. <laughs> What's happened? He's on the tree. What's oh my god, he says happy Christmas. Oh my gosh. He's put crisps on the tree. Okay, for Dolly, right. Number 11. She needs to be fed. Basically, we're trying to get out, well, get have breakfast, get out the door a bit earlier. Because we've got to go pick up Rio's friend for gymnastics. Number 11. Oh, it looks like a Thomas one. time so Stuart's outside having a PT session and I had to get shout with the two babies smashing his PT set here's your um, mascot okay. Look at daddy 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 right we'll see you a bit later let's go and pick out a packet of Chris from the Christmas tree how are you all today I hope you're all having a fabulous day um, I'm not sure if Francis showed you but Elfie says, Happy Christmas! Which crisps do you want for lunch? Quavers. Whoa, lucky boy! I've made you cheese toasty with some quavers. Are you ready? You're going to absolutely love this. Toasted cheese bites. Oh, that cheese. This is what I've got for lunch. Ooh, lovely. So I'm gonna sit here, watch a bit of Blippi, and have some lunch, and then we're gonna head into Westfield. I also need to collect Rebel's presents. I still haven't done that from Argos yet, so I'll probably do that again today. Say bye to YouTube. Bye. bye, bye. Oh. Okay, Han, goodbye. I've just got Rio to sleep and I'm going to pop to Soho House in Westfield to go and meet my best friend Nicola. What else can I tell you? That's about it, really. I'm just excited to go. Okay, that was really boring. <laughs> so I've got the kids for two hours and it was getting dark, but I was like, there's nothing worse than me sitting at home and just watching the TV or I just don't like doing that. I just love getting out. And I know we don't have a car, but I just have to like be physical. And I find like, oops, sorry, yeah. We're in the forest right now. I'll show you. Bye, my feet. Oh. <laughs> this is us right now in the forest. It's gotta get dark, but for me, it's absolutely worth it. Like we're probably gonna go get some supper somewhere in our local town. I just, it's probably more for my own mental health. than I mean, I think it's great for the kids to be out in the fresh air and learning about things but i just find staying in the house too much really like suffocating and like i just don't know always what to do and i think when you're out we go in the forest we can like 
we look at the colors, we look at the airplanes, we look at the helicopters, we look at the animals. And for me, I find that so much more stimulating as a parent and, and it, it gives me energy to go out. And although it takes time to get ready and all that stuff, for me, it's 100% worth it. And you guys are having a nice time, aren't you? Rebel's just looking up at the tree. <laughs> She's like just staring up. Are you having a nice time? The what? Yeah. You guys get a bit dark. It's still worth coming out, isn't it? Let's crack on. That's my two pence. Is that what the people say? That's how I feel. I think also in this stage of the parenting, where it just, I have to remind myself, like, Rebel is so young and they're both so young and it's demanding dealing with a toddler with like unpredictable <laughs> moods and wants and just remind myself not to be hard on myself. Um, and it's little things like just getting out that really just help. And I don't mean it to like help get through the day like I'm really struggling, but they ju it's just about, there you are. Help keep us all just high energy and happy. What can you see Rio? at the park yeah. yeah and go be careful i'm not holding your hand this time oh here he goes here we go oh is that nice squelch squelch <laughs> are you okay getting out oh yeah you did it yourself you did it yourself well done you did it yourself it was amazing oh he's going for the other one again Oh, here we go in the puddle. It's like a drone shot. Ooh. Yay! Oh, what is this, Rio? So good. Choo -choo. So good, right? We've just come into our local town, see the Christmas lights, and we're gonna go. <laughs> we're gonna go watch some trains come, and then we're gonna go get some dinner. By that time, should, should be back. Now we're walking down to our local train station to go train spotting. Aren't we? We're going to see the trains. Rebel UK. Oh, she's almost asleep. Look Perfect. Omar. Look at Omar's train. Yeah, Omar's coming tomorrow on the train. Got a UK under there? Yeah, she's still there. Full family still here. Oh my God. There's a train coming this side here. Yeah. see the train. <laughs> Train! Yes! Did that give me a shock? <laughs> Here he goes! Firstly, I want to say sorry for not taking you into Soho House. I felt like I didn't want to get in trouble today. <laughs> we were basically in a table that was in the middle of the room and obviously you're not allowed to film in Soho House because it's like a private members club. And I felt like if I film right now, I'm going to get myself into big trouble. So I didn't do it. But I've had the most unbelievable few hours. I just have this friend called Nikki, Nicola Wills, who just we just talk about like okay what's the vision where we're going to be this time next year what we're going to do and just having those kind of like conversations with somebody who's really close to you and i and she really knows me really well and i know her and having those honest chats just is so valuable because it just makes you go reassess and go am i dreaming too small am i dreaming too big is this actually possible for someone like me and it's just absolutely amazing so i hope every single one of you on this that's watching this has got a friend like that because it really does impact your kind of like mindset of like what you believe you can achieve. Anyway, it was a fabulous conversation. I'm gonna head back to the car now and go and get Francis and Dolly and Rio and Rebel because they'll be like, where have you been? It's dark. I think Francis has actually gone for a meal. So um, back to the kids and then Francis is going to the gym so I will be solo parenting. <laughs> but anyway, I love you all. I'll see you in the next clip when I've got both kids and you're back to, back to square one. Haven't been to Argos yet. I bought these, these presents for Rebel from Argos three days ago, four days ago, and I still haven't been back. I need to do that, but I will 
not do that tonight because I've been back too late for Francis. Oh my god, look how beautiful this is. I just love, I know we're not in central London, but I just love London. It's one of those places where you just feel like, I can conquer the world. Just love that feeling. How cool. It's also big. <laughs> I just love Christmas time so much. It's just like, it's not very cold today as well, so it's perfect. So it's like cool, but not cold. So it's the perfect Christmas evening. <sighs> Stop. So happy. <laughs> I just remembered also that I said that I, me and Francis would sing at my friend's wedding, which is literally this Saturday, and this is the song we're singing. Put your head against my life. What do you hear? A million words just trying to sing the love song of the year. So I've just got back to our local town ah. and I'm going to go and pick up Francis and the babies. Where are they? Oh, there they are. <laughs> and Dolly as well. You are a legend. Dad. Yeah. Dad. How has your day been Francis Haugen? Yeah. How have you been? Did you have a nice time? The mouse. You saw Mickey Mouse? Oh, it was so nice. Really just gave me the, uh, the biggest butter. cuddle. Just love, just love the door so much. So gorgeous. I mean, it doesn't really show its slender blender in the dark, but who doesn't love a disco ball? I've just put Rio in the bath. Obviously didn't leave him in the bath. Price is there with him. Um, we got back. And usually at this time when Rio's in the bath, I do wash my face, get ready for bed myself. Otherwise I don't do it. Oh my God! What's going on here in the bath? You're looking at yourself. I'm looking at Rio. You, are you, are you, when you walked in, the camera was like, basically just on your mouth. Is it really zoomed in? Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Hiya. Hiya. <laughs> Zooming into that double chin of mine. Is that better? Hiya. My skin is so shiny. I noticed that this morning. Yeah. Are you putting oil on? Yeah. I'm gonna stop with all the oil. Yeah, it's too oily. But what I'm also doing is those pads. But I think maybe stop with the oil to start with. I mean, just buy that mattifying pad, I don't think that that person recommended. They didn't sell it in John Lewis, the other one, you've got to buy it online. <laughs> Look at her. Well, hi. <laughs> you remember me when the west wind blew. Hiya. I use this cleansing balm. Do you want to cleanse your face? Ah. Oh, look at you! Boy, high five. Where's, where's your present? Oh. Come on then. Come on then. Good one. Well done. Bring it over here. We can read it together. Oh, I love you more than Christmas. How fun! Dolly, get back inside. 
yes, I had a lovely day. I felt so inspired as everybody knows when I came out, I was like, oh, the conquer the world. Just love, I love having friends that make you feel like anything's possible. Also, what I did get today is my Zara order that came through. Let's see what's in here. Buffer Rebel. Oh, what's it got frills on it? <laughs> I ordered this before I was told about the frill situation. Oh, no. So I don't know is the answer. Oh. That's cute. Just think holiday vibes, right? This with a pair of knickers. This is beachy. What looks cute, I like that. That I like the most. Oh, that's gorgeous. Just a little romper. I'm sorry, but these are all lovely. I don't care what you think. You're gonna love this. <laughs> tie dye and another little romper. I just thought in the day when it's really warm, yeah. that's her summer wardrobe sorted. Perfect. Is there anything you like in there? Um, yeah, okay, let's go back. This, yeah, lovely back. Yeah. That'd be a really nice colour on her. This, yeah, no, this. Yeah, I like that. This is quite thick. This is gorgeous. Yeah, it is lovely. You love these? Love them. I love this. She'll look gorgeous in this. So that's what I got from Zara. I hope you enjoyed my haul. I don't know if I did that haul properly. It's not like Molly Mae. Molly Mae would be like, and I got this lilac colour. They all know all the colours. I don't think I know all the all the all the colours. What colour would you call this? Tartan? Yeah. <laughs> it's like so real. Oh god. Stuart <laughs> yeah, was worried that both the vlog yesterday you could get this wrong. Yeah, I was like, I can't believe I'm putting this up. I feel like I'm drunk the whole way through it. What an amazing day that was. <laughs> I just said to Stuart, this video doesn't really have an ending. Did you want to end it? I just wanna say, not drunk tonight. <laughs> I very, very rarely get drunk. I quite enjoyed it there. I was a bit tipsy. You're funny. Um, but I, what I'm really looking forward to is writing my goals for the next three years. So I feel like when I did my vision board, I need to show you my vision board, but I made this vision board. I was really lost in 2020, really lost, really like, oh my God, what do I want out of my life, blah, blah. As I'm sure lots of people were. And I did this massive vision board and I feel like if you go and look at that vision board now, apart from the age of the children, because there's some children that are a little bit older, like everything else, the travel, the thing, it's like, I feel like we did so well in, the, in this past three years. So that's not being braggy, it's just me being like, oh my God, I feel so grateful for where we're at. I just feel like I'd like to create a new vision board. I like, loved your vision boards. I know, you just, you just literally... Just look at it. You look, you don't make it, but at any time doing it, you just look at it and then... Oh, I don't want to spend time doing that, but I like it when you make it. <laughs> <laughs> We're so different. There's so much time to do it. I'd rather sort out the house, get rid of stuff. Her face is changing every single day, isn't it? Yeah. See, I feel like, oh my I God, that, when I look like that, she looks a little bit Rio. I can't see the same face as what I saw when I first saw her. Probably that's probably a good thing. It was so scrunched up. <laughs> like when they come out, they're so scrunched up, aren't they? It's so funny. Is I looked. I was looking at her today, going. It, I, I look at Rio all the time. I'm like, what's your what's your adult self gonna look like? Don't you think, last year? What are you gonna look like as an adult? Fascinates me. Yeah, I can't see her adult face yet. With Rio, I could always see it. I could always see it shining through. Whereas I can't oh really? See what hers is gonna look like. Oh, I just love her so much. I took her to the supermarket today and as she was just popped her head out and her eyes were looking around. I feel that more with her. Can I even say that? She's a bit more like, she's got quite eager eyes. Rio has like dreamy like, oh, eyes, but she's got like, you know, actually someone just said, I was on my Instagram about sucking a thumb. I basically put a video out saying that one of my favorite things that she does is sucking her thumb because it means that I, I don't, with, with Rebel now, I, I'm quite in tune with her. Like if she needs soothing, I actually find that I 
if I sit still, because I find bou bouncing all the time. Sometimes it like yeah. pisses her off. Yeah, it's just like, like, like she this. doesn't want that. So I just sit still. She takes a few, has a few grumbles, finds her thumb, and she like self soothes herself. It's like it's really amazing. Um, she doesn't like to be flapped. So this lady said to me, "To be TBR, what's that right? Oh. To be real, the ability to self soothe this early, she's going to be a powerful woman." That's what she's put. What does it stand for? TBR. It's an acronym that stands for to be read. Anyway, the ability to self-soothe this early means she's going to be a powerful woman. And I agree with that. Like, Or to be real. To be real. Right, we've got to go to bed. Yeah, let's do it. Get her out of my arms. Go and get her out. Go and get her Do you want to sleep with real? <laughs> yeah, I will. You don't have to. I will. Just because he wakes up once. I just sleep in That's the negotiating time. sleep pants. I mean, we always say... She woke up at 2am last night. Did she? Rude. She'd been sleeping till 6, six or 7. I was like, 2am? And, and then I was in with Rhea at 4. That's the problem. When, Rhea, when Stuart sleeps in our bed, which is where I want him to be, he doesn't hear the... <laughs> Grass can hear a pin drop. I can, I can hear my alarm. I set my alarm for 7. I heard it from... Rio's room, that's why I came into your room. Did you switch it off or not? Yeah. So you did hear the alarm? Yeah. She just doesn't hear stuff. It's okay. Good night. Tomorrow, Omar's coming. Yay. We haven't had a visitor for a while. I'm like needing, craving a bit of a, um, help with the kids. It'd be quite nice. Not to say that you're not helping, as in like yeah. the help between us. <laughs> um, and it's her yeah, birthday. Yeah, you had a full day six. I was out. Yeah, I did. Giving advice to my friends, and you were there with both kids, so it does feel like you've done more. And that's why I got the house ready. It was really the best choice ever. We went to the trains in my local train station. It was fine. He loves getting out. I know. Bye. Thank you for watching.